happy evening again so this is dr santoshi singh and uh, i've been tirelessly working last 20 years nurturing young minds and providing them with the best preschool experiences a for apple b for ball c for cat and d for dog this is how my journey began as an educator 20 years ago as a nursery teacher today here i am but something's little changed a for app and b for bluetooth c for chat gpt etc so welcome to the great screen age this newest generation where screens are placed in front of them from the youngest age as specifiers entertainers and educational aids from shorter attention spans to gamification in education from increased digital literacy to impaired social formation these times impact us all but transform those in their formative years whom am i talking about what is this she's talking about this is generation alpha how many of you have young children here i do have one and children most born after 2010 are called as gen alpha gen alpha the year the ipad was launched instagram was created and app was the word of the year and so from their earliest years they have been screen agers teaching generation alpha those born 20000 2010 onwards involves understanding unique characteristics and the environment they are growing up in this generation is highly digital with technology integrated into their daily lives from birth i'm sure all of you will agree with me isn't it gen alpha so what is gen alpha how are they different they are endowed that is they come with natural abilities they are educated because they have access to information all the time they are intelligent they are independent they make their own decisions how many times you know when we talk to our children say oh mama i know it all Oh, mama, that's not the way. This is the way. Oh, uh, mama, this is the reel that you can upload. You know, I really wonder, I'm in wonderment. How do these little children learn so quickly? And how are they in the present times? Strategies. So what are the strategies that we need to create a stimulating environment for them? Develop digital citizenship. Teach them the skills they need to navigate in the online world with responsibility as i mentioned today's children have access to lethora of information there is verbal diarrhea all over they know lots of lots of things but we also need to teach them the responsibility of how to handle digital we have to focus on interactivity generation alpha responds well to interactions and engaging social activities Gamification, interactive problem solving and collaborative projects can help maintain their attention and enhance learning. We have to integrate technology, utilize technology not just as a tool but also as an integral part of their learning environment. We have to encourage critical thinking and creativity in children, use project-based learning and inquiry-based learning techniques to develop their critical thinking and creativity. Allow them to explore problems and come up with solutions on their own, fostering a sense of innovation and independence. The most important thing is fostering emotional intelligence. Why is emotional intelligence very, very important? Indeed, it is because most of us who are sitting here, we know what has success been? What have we learned in school? How much are we applying the knowledge that we learned in our schools and colleges? Much more than that, isn't it the emotional handling of the situations that is helping us thrive in the situations that we are in? Doesn't it help us navigate through all the situations that we face life with? That is the reason teaching children. Can we teach emotions to children? Not really, but can we create those environments where children are nurtured to handle emotions very well? It's extremely important. We have to tailor-make education to meet the individual needs of student. 
Every child is different and every child needs to be nurtured in a way that best suits them. Adaptive learning technologies, which adjust to the learning pace and style of each student is very, very effective. We need to teach sustainability and global awareness to children, incorporate lessons about sustainability, global cultures, and languages to broaden their perspectives and prepare them for a connected world. Today, we have to prepare children to be global citizens of the world. Last but not the least, we have to encourage physical activity for children. Nowadays, as I mentioned, children are born with gadgets, not born with gadgets, but the moment they are born, I have seen preschool moms give gadgets to their children and show them the gadget and feed them. How many of you can relate with me? With me? Isn't it? So what is the stimulus that is happening to the child? The child is seeing the gadget and eating the food. The child doesn't even know what it's eating. Isn't it extremely important to be mindful of how we behave with children? So it's going to really help them to nurture emotional intelligence in children. Parental info involvement is extremely important. We have to engage with parents actively as they are integral in supporting the learning and the development of Gen Alpha. So what are the tools and strategies that involve parents? Enhance learning and come outcomes in children and how to provide a supportive home environment. It's extremely important that today's children need to be connected with, not corrected. Today's generation do not take instructions. They already know they are in an informed world and they like to be inspired. They look up to inspiration and then they are ready to take instructions. They come with a judgment mind. They know to judge what they are seeing and their capabilities as a young child is predominantly very, very strong. We have to prepare them for future skills, focus on teaching skills that will be essential in the future, such as coding, digital content creation, and skills for working in highly automated and AI-driven environments. By adopting these strategies, we can create an effective and nurturing educational environment for our children. So can we teach children the way we learnt in our schools? Isn't this a very different world for children? Yes, it is. Since we are living in a very different world, even education has to be different for these children. For us, maybe most of us, Education was remembering information, writing the notes, and predominantly how we fared in our exams, isn't it? But today's children, it's not that. What are the skills? Most of the jobs do not exist today. The jobs that existed in the Easter years, does it exist today? No. The past five years have seen a huge increase and different fields in edu fields to build careers with, isn't it? So how do we prepare our children? Do we know what kind of jobs are we preparing them for? No, it's a big challenge for educators because we really don't know what kind of a world these children are going to be in, say, 5, 10, 15 years from now. Then what is it that we need to teach children? I would sum up and say there are five Cs that we need to teach our children. The first C being curiosity. We have to teach our children to be curious. We have to teach our children to be creative, to create new things, to be inquisitive about new things. Then to collaborate. There is no more competition. It is all about cooperation and collaboration. Even Instagram says, collaborative posts, isn't it? So collaboration and critical thinking. To think, is this right? Is this right for me? Am I doing the right thing? How differently can I do it? Is this the right thing for the society? What is the new problem that I can solve? What is the nagging problem in society? And how do I nag, 
how do i solve the nagging problem in society if this is what can be taught to children i think we will be creating a new generation of learners who are lifelong learners in a globally evolving world thank you so much